Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to check if the year is a leap year or not. So if the year ends with two zeros, then you have to check if it's divisible by 4 and 400 for it to be a leap year. But if it does not end in with two zeros, then uh, you only have to check if it's divisible by 4. For it to be a leap year. So for example, 2000 is a leap year. So you have to, and it ends with two zeros, as you can see here. So you have to check if it's divisible by 4 and 400. But 2004, for example, does not end with two zeros. So you only have to check if it's divisible by 4 for it to be a leap year. I will link a video down in the description below to give a better explanation as to why it needs to be divisible by 4 and 400 for two zeros and only 4 for ones that don't end with two zeros and just understanding what makes what makes it a leap year or not. But in this video I'm just going to show you how you can check if the input that you entered, if the year that you entered is a leap year or not. So first I've already imported my what I will need to use my scanner class. So I'm going to just use a scanner class to accept input from the user. So I'm just creating my scanner. And now I'm creating, I'm actually going to prompt the user to enter the year to be able to check if that year is you have to be able to check if that year is uh, a leap year or not. So please enter the year. Now that the user is prompted, I'm going to declare a variable to be able to accept the year that the user inputs. And then I'm going to use my scan across over here to be able to accept that input. And now I'm also going to create a Boolean value for the leap, for the leap year, just to be able to say if it's true or false when we start. I'm just going to leave it as false. But yeah, we'll be able, we're going to create if statements now to be able to check if this is going to stay. So if it is a leap year, then the value is going to be true. If it is not a leap year, then it will remain as false. So now we're going to check if the year if the year that we entered is a leap year and we're going to use modulus to do that so first i first said it needs to be divisible by 4 and 400 so now i'm ch checking if the year is evenly dividable by 4 so modulus basically checks to see if the remainder so it divides the year by 4 and then it gives you the remainder. So if the remainder is equal to zero, then it is a leap year. Well, we're not sure yet, but it should be a leap year. Else, if it's not even divisible by four, then it is not a leap year. Why is this an error? Hmm. Mm, I see. Else, the leap year, leap year stays false because then it is not a leap year if it is not divisible, evenly divisible by four. Next, we're going to check if the year ends with two zeros now. So if modulus 100 is equal to 0, then it is divisible, then it, it's one of the years like 2000 that ends with two zeros. Else, if it doesn't, then it means it is a leap year because right uh, we said numbers like 2004, if it doesn't end in 00, we just need to check if it's evenly divisible by 4. 
to be a leap year. So if it does not fall into this category, it just means it is one of these these kind of leap years. So leap is then true. It just does not end in zero zero. Now that we've checked that it is one of those that ends in zero zero, now we can check if it's if the year is evenly divisible by four hundred. If it is, then it is a leap year. And we can say leap is equal to true. Else, it can't be a leap year because it has to be divisible by 4 and 400 if it has the zero zeros. So then it is not a leap year. And now we're just going to print that out to, this, to the user. So if we said leap is equal to true, then it is a leap year. Yeah, then year. And then just a message to say is a leap year else then it can only be false so then else it is not a leap year okay so now we're just going to run this to see if it gives us the input that we expect so now here it is saying please enter a year so 1700 is not a leap year so we should get that it is not a leap year Yes, and now let's run it again because we said 2004 is a leap year, so it should come back as it is a leap year. And that is how you check if a year is a leap year or not. Thank you for watching. Please join me in the next video.